If you want to hear an update on my no buy, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ellen with another video and this is, as you heard, an update on my no buy. And this is going to be an update for day 150 of my no buy. And I have a ton to update you on. And uh, did I break my no buy? Well, you will have to tell me. Here is the deal. There were a lot of things that I purchased this past period including purchases I made during the Sephora Spring VIB sale. In that video, I said I would not be purchasing anything, and then I put a pinned comment as an, an amendment to that video to identify three things that I realized I was running out of and that I might as well pick up at the sale because I knew that I wouldn't have enough until uh, the November sale. So let me just go over some of those products right away. One product that I picked up during the VIB sale is the very large size of the Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum. And that size, as I open up the box, and that size will last me until November. It is the 3.4 ounce Mega Truth Serum, and it is 100 ml, like I said. Uh, 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 ml. This thing is a hefty bottle. The Truth Serum is a staple in my skincare and I know I'm going to use it. So for me, it was a great opportunity and to get the 20% off, it made a whole lot of sense. I am keeping it in this box until I finish the one that I have open right now because I am doing a focus on Ulla Henriksen and I will open it up and use it as soon as that other one is done. Did that follow my rule of finish a product before I use another one? Not quite, but I do know that I will use it as soon as my other one is done. And again, that it will last me just until the month of the uh, fall sale, assuming there is one again. The one I'm, I'm talking about, the one in November. Um, and it was actually from Trend Mood, where Trend Mood, no, Temptalia, where she did, she said that an ounce was lasting her a month, and I did the calculation based on that, and that's what told me that I should be getting one because the price per ounce was so much better than regular price. Another item that I pinned that I said I was getting during the VIB sale because I realized I was running out, it is a texture spray. This is not a repurchase of the Moroccan oil. This is actually a new texture spray. I figured since I was running out of the texture sprays in that set that I'm using for Battle of the Brands that I might as well try another one. And so that is the one that I picked and this was a recommendation from Lauren May Beauty and I cannot wait to try it. And after the VIB sale, I'm going to let you know that I did end up getting another C texture spray. This is, well, another texture spray from Verb, the C texture spray. And this one was actually to finish up the Battle of the Brands because what I actually had from Verb was the liquid form. And it is very, very different from a texture spray. It gives texture in the hair, but just not the same way as a spray does. And it was about the same price and it would end up being my most, just about my most um, cost-effective texture spray. So I decided to get that one as well because a texture spray really doesn't last me very long and so I didn't feel like having two back to back and to give you better information was, was a bad thing to do. I absolutely stand by that purchase because by, we are mid-May, by end of June, at the very latest, that will be the one that I'll be using. I use tex texture sprays about three times a week so far and so for a five or six ounce bottle, they don't last for months. And I have very thin hair, so I use a lot of texture spray. The final product that I purchased during the VIB sale is this Juice Beauty. And this is a green apple peel. And if you saw my last Slaying My Sample stash, I'll put the video right here. I used the full sample of this. It was many uses. And it was a peel that was fine for my skin. It did really well. And so, let me just open it for you. I decided to get the, the full size and I'm very happy I did. It's kind of a 
gelatinous greenish yellow kind of um, a look but when you put it on your skin and just spread it on your face you don't end up looking like you have mask face which I really appreciate 10 minutes is all it takes and then you just um, clean it off your skin and go about your business I tend to use this uh, at night before I put on all of my night skincare to make sure that the extra good stuff I use at night really gets into my skin I was very scared of peels. Not anymore. I'm I'm really happy with this one. I am testing another one out from First Aid Beauty as well right now uh, because I didn't have anything left. So I started using the First Aid Beauty, which is fine by the way. It's just it gives you mask face, which it, which is like a, a dark color mask like color. Um, but I cannot wait to get back to that one once I'm done with the samples of the First Aid Beauty. And the First Aid Beauty one I'm using by the way is the is the full strength peel if that makes any difference to you. I think I'm going to go back to drugstore for a sec and then I've got a few more Sephora purchases to talk about. I ended up with this guy from my grocery purchase and this was a free purchase or free gift with $250 purchase and I was hesitating on this one because so it was a free, but I hesitated on whether I really needed it because it's a lot of sunscreen products and I have a lot of sunscreen products, but I realized that a lot of my sunscreen products are old and I'm going to displace them with a lot of what is in here. There are wipes, there's aloe vera gel for after sun care, and then a couple of SPFs. You'll see a hole right in the middle here. And that was a kids SPF product that I gave to a friend of mine, Chelsea, so that she could uh, use it on her little boy. But yes, that is the deal with that. It's a lot of product, which is why I was debating. But when I decided, you know, some of my uh, sunscreen is three plus years old, it really needs to be chucked and this will replace it. A few things that are not exciting from the drugstore. I did pick up a 10 pack, actually it's a 12 pack, 10 plus two of razors. Like I said, nothing exciting. I, I refuse to buy one razor at a time because I'm not paying five bucks when this was on clearance and I kept the receipt because you will not believe how much I paid for them. Uh, four bucks for 12. And it was in the clearance section and to heck if I was not going to take advantage of that price. Yes, it's 12, but I use razors and we're moving on. Speaking of beauty care stuff, I also picked up wax strips and that is I have to take care of my peach fuzz on my face. It has been, I've noticed it in videos and it is time to take care of it and I was out. So that is why I made this purchase. I have the really big strips for my legs, but I don't like using those on my face because it's just, it's just too big. So I bought the appropriate size. And if you saw my empties video, I needed some more cotton swabs and I was really, really good. They were on sale and I bought one box because knowing that I only use one to two a day, this will last me a year. I didn't need more, more than one box. A year is plenty. A year stock is plenty. What I did go a little ham on though is toothpaste. We were down to our last tube. <laughs> And they were discontinuing these, or not discontinuing, I guess they were clearing them out, maybe because they're older stock, I don't know. But these are big. They are 170 mil Colgate Total Advanced Help Gum Defense, helps prevent and reduce gingivitis. And I ended up picking up four of these because they were about $2 each, or two and a quarter each Canadian, which is a steal. We are good for the year. I didn't think I broke the bank. And I don't feel bad at all. So I, I really think that this was good. And if anything, you know what? I would have bought six or eight. So the fact that I stopped at four was pretty good in my books. Something that is actually, actually, uh, um, I have three things at least for this channel. I did get some more magnets to put on the back of my singles because I was running out of magnets. And you put your shadows at risk if you don't have them really sticking in the pan because they'll they bump around and then you lose shadows uh, this was $13 I think $12.99 and it took about a month to uh, to get to me but I'm super happy and they will be put to good use 
within the next number of weeks. I was waiting for these to be able to do some more depotting for you. I intend to depot some colored rain palettes. And speaking of, to continue my quad of the month, I also did purchase a number of these Annabelle quads for the uh, quad of the month that I do. And they were, during the sale, they were 80 cents each. They're usually a dollar each Canadian, and they are absolutely fantastic. If you need some magnetic palettes and you don't want to break the bank, this is this was 80 cents or a dollar regular price. And if you think about it, a dollar for four, if you have a 16 pan palette to depot, it would only cost you $4 to depot. You can only buy three of these at a time, but I highly, highly recommend it. And it was a great way for me to mitigate my absolute FOMO over the new Cleona Cosmetics palettes. I'll put a picture of it right here. It's mind blowing. It's gorgeous. And I had I had the a couple of those palettes and a few of the multi-chromes they just came out with in a cart on their site at least three or four times this past month when they came out. And I'm so proud of myself for not buying anything from Cleona. And this was this was a great, very utilitarian and practical way, something I need without having to spend about $100. They were on pre-sale sale of $35 each, but what it would have been would be $35 I was going to get two. That's $70 plus $15 shipping plus tax. It was going to be $100 before even, even adding any multi-chromes in. I did good. I did good. This was perfectly suitable. And we're good to keep on going with the depotting projects that I have going on this year. We're getting close to finish for what I have for this channel. Um, I did pick up a couple of dual packs of the Annabelle Skinny Mascara. Now, this is not for myself. This is actually for giveaways happening later on this year on this channel. I will put one of these every time until I'm out every time I do a giveaway because Annabelle is a Canadian brand and a lot of my viewers are not Canadian and don't have access to Annabelle. It is a dupe for a MAC mascara according to another Canadian called Drea Cien and I want to share the love for this mascara with you and so if you end up getting one of my giveaways at least early on in well, the next four I guess uh, you will get an Annabelle mascara. I was so happy to come across these they ended up being on super, super special and because I, I paid half price for them and I still got an extra discount over top. So why would I not gift these when it was so easy for me to do so? And gift giving is totally allowed under my no buy. So I feel no guilt for those. This is the most shopping I've done all year so far. A lot of it, I think you'll agree, is super practical. I had an incident uh, during this past number of days, I guess the past 50 days, where I ended up using the Origins Brightening Cream, Eye Cream, and I only use that cream now, as I said in that video, which I'll put right there, that it was um, preventing me, preventing the makeup that I put on top from sticking properly, and it was splotchy and it looked terrible. Well, I put that cream on, and then I forgot I put it on, and then I tried putting eye cream on, not eye cream, um, concealer and foundation and um, powder, all that stuff under my eye, and it looked a hot mess, and I got angry. <laughs> I got angry, seriously, and I decided to go for this set. Now this is just a, a comment here. If you get, if you are looking for some creams that are relatively expensive. Hi there, sorry about that. My video cut out. I must have lost the footage or did not press record again to finish up this video. So this is me in the future finishing it up. I was talking about the value when you are buying expensive creams. I it up properly 
that it is really important to look at the price per ounce or price per milliliter. And I did a little bit of math to help you see why I ended up taking this kit as opposed to a jar of the banana cream, uh, banana brightening cream alone. So let me get the, uh, the couple of jars that came in here. And they are as follows. We've got the banana bright eye cream, seven mil of that. And then also the uh, sea rush brightening gel cream. Uh, these are the two that came in that little kit. And here is why this made a lot of sense. If I were to look at the value of this seven mil based on the price per milliliter of the large size, the large size of the Banana Bright Cream is $50 for 15 mil. This is seven mil. So seven mil comes out to a value of 23.33. Next, there is this one, which is a Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, as I mentioned. And that one sells at 50 mil for $58. And that for the 15 I have here is a value of 1740. So the total of these two based on the full size regular price product is 4073. But this kit is selling for 29. That is 30% off the full size for smaller sizes. That's amazing on a milliliter to milliliter comparison. That is tremendous value and that is why I went for this kit. And this brightening cream is going to last me a very long time. Eye cream does not, you don't need a lot to get by. So this is going to last me a long time and I'm really happy about that. I am going to leave this 150 day update at what I purchased during the VIB sale. I'm not going to go beyond that because it's already too long. And what I will do is when, when I get to the mid year update, I'll update you on all five of my objectives and how I'm doing for that. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this update to my no buy useful. I look forward to your feedback down in the comments below. And until next time, take care and see you soon.